FHRAI sheds light on its upcoming agenda. FHRI this year will focus on various challenges that face the industry, one of them being the copyright issue where uh, there are certain irritants about multiple societies claiming money. There is also an issue about uh, uh, our guests being made to pay for the weddings that happen which are fully exempted. With these issues uh, we are presently with the government and the consultation process is underway and we are looking for some resolution there. There are issues with GST which need to be looked at. There is an issue of rate, there are issues uh, with um, the 7,500 uh, slab that has been put above which we get into the 18% bracket. Those issues are hampering uh, tourism in terms of uh, foreign arrivals. We need to be competitive and relevant with the South Asia market as well as the Southeast Asia market where many of the countries have much lower GST rates. 1990 batch and Indian Railway Traffic Services Officer Sanjay Kumar has taken over the charge of Chairman and Managing Director of IRCTC. Fiji has managed to bounce back and regain its position in the India market. India pre-COVID, we had just over 6,000 and India post-COVID, we are 6,200 again. Um, so we're only shy by about 90 passengers, which is great, uh, given that the real resurgence in Indian traffic came through towards the latter half of, of last year. So we're seeing really good numbers uh, looking forward as well for this year. December of 2023 versus 2019 for India was 300% up. So uh, while we're looking conservatively, we're hoping that uh, that trend will continue. The South African Tourism Annual Roadshow in Bengaluru concluded with resounding success. With the presence of new partners, this roadshow brought together industry professionals and trade experts, providing valuable insights for all involved. The CEO of Best Western Hotels and Resorts shared valuable insights on the trends of inbound travel. Inbound travel returned to North America then it returned to Europe, and now I think it will begin to travel to Asia. Um, it, it takes time, but that wave is occurring. And so I believe that inbound and outbound travel um, internationally will, will come back. It absolutely has to. People recognize the beauty of India. They will come.